All right, hi all. Today we're going to go ahead and put in an electronic water pressure sensor in a 60 degree Evinrude E-Tech G1. So this happens to be a 150 horsepower high output Evinrude E-Tech 2009. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take the cover off. This is a picture of the water pressure sensor. I'll have a link to it in the description down below. This is a 30 PSI water pressure sensor. Go ahead and take that cover off. Next, you're going to want to get the plastic coverings off of your motor. Those just simply pop off. There's two rubber grommets on the back side, and then two rubber grommets on the front and on the back sides of the top cover. So the water pressure sensor is the uh, out intake out port on the block is sitting on the right hand side should be on the on um, this is a six cylinder so you're going to see it right under the uh, connection to the battery make sure you disconnect your battery so what i'm doing here is just popping off the zip tie that is on the analog water pressure sensor at the dash pop off that zip tie that quarter inch or eighth inch hose will come right off of the nipple just pull it right off just check and make sure there's no junk in there pull that out we're going to actually connect this on some some motors may have this already and some may not this may just be a, a port that you're going to have to take a plug out of and then you'll put in your electronic water pressure sensor so take the nipple or plug out Just check, make sure there's not crud in there. Certainly don't you want to get that uh, cleaned up if there is any. This is the thread sealant with PTFE. I'll put a link in the description. Um, this, you want to make sure you use this on all of your connections here. So when you're putting this stuff on, you want to make sure you get it on the thread and not on the face. And just go around the uh, all the threads and then snug it to, in this case, I'm going from the uh, connection to the block to a quarter inch inside diameter. So again, don't overdo it on the uh, tightening. You just wanna, you wanna snug it. You want them to be snug and let that, let that sealant do its job. just snug enough there we go so again thread sealant on the threads not on the face you don't want that stuff in your water pressure line and you certainly don't want it up in the water pressure sensor either one the electronic or the analog So you can see not on the face just the threads so the other part of here's where you're going to want to make sure that you thread this thing by hand you do not want to cross thread this so 
you can see I'm trying to get this thing threaded on here and it's just not quite threading the way I wanted it to. I couldn't get the right feel. So what I had to do is actually take off my gloves so I could get a better feel for the for a grab in the threads. And there we go. And you'll know once it gets in there because it'll just start threading in nice, nice and easy. If there's any resistance, just stop and do try it again. You do not want to cross thread that on the block. So the torque spec here, I believe, is 30 foot pounds. You want it snug. Let the thread sealant do its work. In this case, my torque wrench was my finger. You'll notice in this, you'll see as I'm tightening this down, it's fairly easy. And then I'm moving to using just one finger to push that socket. It's still going fairly easy. One finger. Don't overdo it. Don't cross thread. You can see it's still pretty easy getting a little snug there, and that's it. Let the thread seal do the job. So this is, I'll put a link to the in the description to this hose that I bought. This is a um, I believe it's a fuel hose quarter inch and i'm just what you want to do is you want to get the right size for where this thing needs to be the sensor needs to be above the nipple coming out of the block the reason for that is you need the water to drain down the block and what we're looking at here is the connection you'll see under this wire loom coming out of the emm right there is the connection for the electric water electronic water pressure sensor my fingers are on it now so there's a little tab holding it in place and you take off there's a cap on that wire and that's to uh keep any water dust debris out of there if you don't have the electric electronic water sensor so this is held in uh there's a little clip uh and you just want to pull that clip off and that's the the cap you can see it's got the waterproof red covers there now for ease of access what i did is i took the uh that whole water pressure sensor out and here what i'm doing is taking the hose testing it making sure that i have enough hose where it's going to be placed above the block exit there the nipple there you go so you can see it's just above that and then what you want to do is put together your fittings on your hose if you have the analog they just slide right in on the barbed sides there and notice i have that t-block that t-block is going to have the eighth inch out and what's that's going to allow is the the dash analog water pressure sensor and the electron electronic water pressure sensor get the fittings all put on the Odeker fittings and then you can see i now have Odeker fittings on each end one to the sensor one to the block and then on the t block as well so you just want to snug that in there make sure that you get your Odeker um clamps so that you can actually get the tool in there and, and tighten them down so you just want to spin those around to make sure you can actually clamp them down and i'm just pushing this onto the barbed part of the nibble there so that when it clamps down it actually keeps the uh keeps it watertight so test fit where that thing's going to be. Make sure you cut it, cut them right, put them in, 
get it all set up, and then we're going to move on to creating the watertight um, connection. And again, thread sealant on the threads, not on the face. Coat it around. Put on your last connection. Notice no thread sealant on the face. Again, snug, not over tightened. Notice that thread sealant, nice, good, good seal all the way around. 30 PSI water pressure sensor. Now we need to make the electric connection with a waterproof seal. There is the connection kit that I bought. Link will be in the description. So that's what we're making right there. And again, there's, there's the connection under the it's popped in to the uh, plastic part of the engine there. Just got to clamp that and then pull it out. I used a screwdriver and a clamp. Made it easier just for connections and looking at the wires. Most important thing is you need to know which position the red, black, and pink wires are. The red is positive five, Black is ground. The pink is the actual voltage reading off of the water pressure sensor. That's what the EMM uses to, to uh, display, understand the actual water pressure. The sensor converts it to 0 to 5 volts. Here's the connection kit. So the connection kit, you're going to have rubber grommets that you put on each wire that creates a watertight seal into the connection and then you clamp down on the uh, metal male parts of that so there's a little clamp that goes on each of the rubber things to hold them in place they slide into the connection you're making and then a pot and then you can put it to the uh on the engine so one thing I'll tell you, I ended up putting these together, clamping, uh, crimping them down, and then I actually put a little dot of solder on each one of them to ensure that the connection was good. I didn't like the the clamp, uh, the cramp. It just wasn't a good a good fit. So this is a little time consuming, um, but it does make the correct fitting. So now those slide in, they only slide in once, they're one and done. And what I'm doing now is making sure that they're in the right position, positive ground and um, so here we go. So it, I had the connections, tighten it down. You can see that's the analog water line going back to the dash that is cramped on there. There is the water pressure sensor, both of the lines are above the output from the engine and zip tied in and you can see that goes in to that connection that we created and there is the connection to the emm and it's popped back in place into the plastic housing and we are good to go 
here we are on the water with our electronic pre water pressure sensor with a Lorentz connected through NEMA 2000. You can see at idle, we got about five PSI. If we rev it, there we go. We're revving about 2000 RPM with 20 PSI. So now I have full water pressure sensor from both the EMM electronic as well as on the dash. So again, everything will be in the description if you want to do this yourself. It's a lot cheaper than the Evinrude kit. Thanks. Appreciate it. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.